Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. This video is going to be part two in the Illuminati expose series on Dragon Ball Z. Now in part one, a lot of questions, comments, and concerns were brought up. So I addressed some of those in a video that I did after that called Anime Answers. So I'll leave the original video and also the answers video linked up at the end of this video. And before we move on to another anime series, I really feel that we need to put into the light of Christ some of the other things that were going on in this series. One thing that we see is Gohan rides up in the Dragon Ball Z series inside of a car and this is in the bumpers, it's in some of the intros and it says Mr. Satan on the side and it also has the mark of the beast. We're told in Revelation 13:18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. You see, we are told to have understanding. This is wisdom. It is a warning from God that this is the number that is representative of the beast, the Antichrist. So when we see this thing on here as followers of Christ, it is a warning to us that this is fruit of something that is not of our Lord and Savior. Now, I know a lot of people have uh, the understanding that, well, it's a joke. If you look at the series, it is because of a character who is named Mr. Satan. And he is kind of a joke. He is a uh, one who professes to be the hero of the world but he truly isn't the hero of the world and all of the people worship him as being their savior but he really is not their savior you see satan is a liar he's a deceiver so he is able to get not only himself promoted as the savior of the world through lies and through chicory but he is also able to get his number promoted throughout this show all of the time and you may say well you see it's showing that he is not truly the savior he's a liar but the fact that this stuff is in here shows that it is not of Christ you see I'm going to be saying this in a lot of my videos now because people really aren't understanding it there is a spirit in this world that works in the children of disobedience. This is the spirit of the prince of the power of the air. It is leading everyone who is not submitted to the lordship of Jesus Christ towards the Antichrist system. The Illuminati is not a group of men who sit in a room trying to take over the world. Though there is a group of men who call themselves the Illuminati and do attempt to do these things, the Illuminati is, in truth, a spirit. It is the spirit of Antichrist. We see these spirits in the old Babylonian societies. We see it in the Egyptian societies. We see it now in our popular culture. It has always been around and it is always trying to accomplish the same thing. Taking the worship away from the Creator. So the creators of this show who have not submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, they are under the influence of this Antichrist spirit, and that is why we see these things in this show. Akira Toriyami was not trying to convey a message of how Satan is a liar and a deceiver, and how Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Though you may interpret it that way, that is not the message that is being conveyed here. And we're going to see that as we go on and look at this show a little bit more. You see, all of the characters are demonic characters. You'll see that they are demonic manifestations. They look as demons. They look as caricatures of devils. And their goals are usually enslavement or destruction or whatever other wicked things that these type of creatures would devise. Now, the good guys, the main one being Goku, is what people say is the Christ figure of this show, a religious figure, the savior of the world, the pure soul who comes to fight the evilness, and he is supposed to be a picture of Christ. But if we truly examine this character, he is a picture of a false Christ. And that is the exact nature of the Hegelian dialectic, which is to offer two opposing sides, the light and the darkness. But in truth, the light is also darkness. So when someone begins siding with the supposed light, he is also 
siding with the darkness. We see this even in our own politics where they offer the left-right paradigm with the Republicans and the Democrats. You have to pick the lesser of two evils. So as we look at Goku, he is not a picture of Christ. You could maybe argue that from saying that, well, see, he's a really truly good-hearted person who's sacrificing himself for the world. But then you start to look at other attributes of him and you'll see that he is a man who has fallen down to earth one of the fallen angels he first came here to destroy then he hit his head and injured it in a head wound and got a mental disability in revelation 13 3 it says and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast so we see again he is a picture of this beast this antichrist so let's take a look at him some more goku is not complete in himself as Christ was. Christ came here and he was complete. He was the Lord God Almighty. Here, the lamb without spot or blemish to take away the sins of the world. Goku, as he faces these forces, many times is not capable of overcoming them and has to ascend to higher and higher levels. One of these forms that he takes on is a demonic monkey type beast. Other ones, he goes into Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4 where the evil side of him starts taking over. These are not Christian teachings. These are more akin to teachings in other New Age faiths where you have to ascend to a higher level to move forward and these other type of mysticisms. That this is the godlike mindset that Satan planted inside of the human race where we can be as gods where we can be more than we are but God made us in his image he made us and he said that it is good Satan is the one who says it isn't good enough and is promoting this through all of the superhero movies and all of these things right now that are saying what God did isn't good enough and I want to be more and this spirit feeds into our children when we watch this show and you see, if you really look at Dragon Ball Z at the basis of it, it is not relying on God, it is not relying on the Holy Spirit for strength, but this is a show of flesh. This is a show of power. This is a show of who is the most powerful and who can overcome everything in their own strength. And that is exactly contrary to what scripture teaches us is not something that is beneficial to your spiritual growth. The Apostle Paul said, all things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. Ask yourself, is filling your mind up with these symbols and signs that we see in this show, and as well as promoting this type of philosophy, beneficial to your growth as a man of God or a woman of God in this battle for the Lord Jesus Christ in this hour? Now, we can look at other things in this show. One real thing that I'll just show you is true fruit of what spirit this show is coming from is Master Roshi. Now, people said, well, yes, he symbolizes lust, but it's showing that it's a bad thing. I want to tell you, diving into it in the way that it does here is just a fruit of the antichrist spirit that is in this show if we look at the japanese society we see that it has all types of perversions in its cartoon shows we see that it has the uh, hentai and all of these type of things start off innocent at first and digress into larger and larger perversions as a person goes down that path this is a show that is intended for children and made for children in japan and it has an old man master roshi uh, lusting after young teenage girls having them lift up their skirts for him and standing in windows staring at panties this is the type of stuff that goes into a child's mind and begins to plant seeds of perversion so we can clearly see that that is something that is not of Christ that is in this show so the Holy Spirit is not leading the creation and making of this television show and then finally, one of the last things I want to look at is what the show's namesake is, the dragon, Dragon Ball Z. 
we see in Revelation 12, 9, And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. You see, this show revolves around the dragon, the old serpent called the devil, Satan, and the, he is deceiving the whole world. They run around this entire planet, this entire universe, trying to get these balls so they can manifest this dragon, this serpent, and that they can call upon him for whatever wish or desire they may have. You see, that is exactly what Satan did in the garden. He came to Eve in the garden and gave her the deception, gave her what her heart desired. He is still at work today, still planting his seeds and covering it up in animes, covering it up in movies and cartoons and television, and whenever he can, to continue to sell the lie to people around the world. We still see this serpent symbolism with Goku. In the afterlife, when he dies, he doesn't go to the judgment. He goes to a place called Snake Way, where he runs along it for episode after episode after episode, until he gets to the end, to the Ascended Master, where he can learn to be more than he is. You can obviously see that Goku is not an image of Christ. If we try and do that with this show, we might as well do it with everything. You can go and say that the Hunger Games is of Jesus Christ, and that Katniss Everdeen is fighting the New World Order system, and she's a Christ figure, and she's sacrificing herself for her sister, and all of these different things. But be honest with yourself. Don't just try and justify things because you enjoy them. We see in scripture that Christ said to those who wanted to be his disciple, we must forsake all that we have pick up our cross and follow him. What I have to forsake may be different than what you have to forsake, but I will tell you this. I am not making these videos saying, listen, you need to get rid of this, you need to not do this, you need to not do this. I am making them as warnings and so that we can all have fellowship together and our fellowship is with him. You see, I don't want anything in my life that's going to separate me from the Lord Jesus Christ. And None of you should want anything that's going to separate you from the Lord, no matter how good Satan makes it seem. So, I want these videos to be exhortations, and I want them to be encouragement for those of you the Lord has showed you these things, to be like, you know what, I don't want that. I want more and more of you, Jesus. I see that the time is coming near where there is going to be a separation of the wheat and the tares, and I do not want to be that lukewarm servant that you talked about that is spit out of the mouth. I want to be hot and on fire for the Lord. I want to be one who is seeking you with all my heart, who is daily in the Word of God, who is praying and calling out and interceding on behalf of those that are lost in my family, those that are lost in this world, those that are lost in my school, those that are deceived in the church. We need to be praying and fasting and standing against the demonic opposition that is all around, not buying into the lies that Satan sells. You see, there is so much deception that we who have inclinations of the truth need to be fully founded on the rock so that when this storm comes, we are not blown away. This stuff is spiritual sand, and if you build up your house on it, you will be washed away. If you are trying to find out truths of the gospel of Jesus Christ in Dragon Ball Z, that's a deception. 2 Corinthians 6.14 says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? When we see these things of darkness, we don't have communion with it. When we see this unrighteousness, we don't have fellowship with it because we are made righteous in Christ and we are brought into the light by His Holy Spirit. Let us forsake these things of the world and let us cling to the cross of Christ. I pray that this cleared some things up. I pray that it highlighted some of these things. And for those of you who are struggling with this type of stuff, just start reading the Word more. You know what? Let's say you watch anime every day. Start reading the word every day as well. Begin to fight this with the sword of the spirit. That is how you do it. Don't do it in your flesh. Don't be like, oh, well, I'm just going to quit watching. I'm just going to stop watching it all. I'm just cutting it off. I mean, if the Lord leads you to do that, do that. But I'm going to tell you what helps me. Read the word. The sword of the spirit is the way that we hack away at these chains. I pray this helped you guys. God bless.